In this video we're going to be talking about speed shooting your spring powered rifle. You can't speed shoot a spring piston air rifle, you dumb hippie. Yes, you can. Don't be so rude. This better be good. Well, quite obviously, the notion of speed shooting with a springer is ludicrous. This video really follows on from last week's video about improving offhand shooting skills by using a technique which I have used on pretty much every field of endeavour in my life, from knife throwing to archery to axe throwing and music. Now, this is where it first came to me, is because when I'm either writing or trying to learn a piece of music, I mean, like all pursuits, you start off slow, repetitive, to get the muscle memory. Once once you've built the muscle memory, then you get faster. Most of us, our end point is the speed at which we want to be able to do it. If I'm playing a musical piece, if it's uh, 150 beats per minute, that's the speed that I want to be able to do, so that's the speed you practice at. No, I found it was much better. Practice much faster than you need to go, so that when it comes to performing, you pull back so well within your limits that it becomes easy. It's your comfort zone then. You're not pushing up to your limits you're playing well within your limits. And I found it works with shooting. It has so many benefits. What I'm talking about here is getting so much more at one with your rifle. And a good way to do that is to speed shoot it. <laughs> it's not very fast. I mean, speed is probably not the right word. Uh, brisk shoot it. Push yourself to be faster and faster at loading and shooting. Don't aim, just point. Now you're going to end up with a target that you wouldn't really want to be seen on YouTube. It's going to, you're going to get some ugly looking targets. As long as you hit the target, you don't have to hit the ball or anything. Just That's really sort of quite easy. We're at 27 yards here, so it's not a great hardship. But don't take any time over it. You've got to shoot a lot as well. You know, I mean, put a good few rounds down range and keep pushing to be faster and faster. And the whole action just flows into one. And the longer you do it, the more you're building everything you need, the mental muscles and the physical muscles that you need, so that when you slow down and come back to a normal shooting regime, you're so well within your limits that it's comfortable, you can do it forever. Doing this speed shoot, and you do it for long enough, and afterwards, your muscles will ache, and you'll ache the next day. And what that tells you is that you are building up the muscles that you need for this specific task. And that's what I mean when I talk about speed shooting a springer. You'll find you learn to acquire targets much quicker than you're used to. You'll find you're building up the muscles. You need to handle a rifle very smoothly and powerfully and very controlled because you can't help but improve because you're physically more capable, you're steadier. I mean, this is quite slow to try and shoot fast because it's an arms pro sport with a notoriously small breech pull for loading. The brake barrel is actually more suited to it. Let me know your thoughts on the subject. I mean, do you think it's daft or does it make sense to you? Regardless, it certainly makes sense to me and it's helped me a lot. But hopefully you notice something very important and that is no matter how fast you're trying to go, safety is so important. As you've loaded and the gun's coming down, notice my finger is never inside the trigger guard until I'm ready to fire. Just remember the discipline there, long and hard. That's what your finger needs to be if you're not shooting. Yeah, bear in mind the safety aspect of it and... All will go well. Have fun. And it actually warms you up in this cold weather as well. Build up a head of steam, build up some speed. And as ludicrous as it looks, it is very, very good practice. It's very, very good for your body as well. So that when we slow down to a normal speed and we can take our time, we're at one with this thing. We're just so comfortable with it. It just becomes an extension of your arms. So bear it in mind. Hope that was useful. See you in the next video.